a silent bulletproof prayer for our nation. This morning, I was awoken by the sounds of a nine month old baby boy trying to learn how to talk. Before the sun shed her glory on this beautiful nation and through my bedroom windows, I could hear sounds emulating from the room next door. Dada, 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 mama, 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 baba, teta, teta. Like the many days I've heard these sounds before, I lie still in our bed and listen quietly. Hoping to get an extra five minutes of sleep, I let this young boy sing his song loudly. The delicate music that awakes me every morning is sung by my son, Matteo Ali. And when I enter his room to hear his concert, this glorious music puts a big smile on his daddy's face. A perfect way to start the day. On December 14, 2012, the day started perfectly for 26 families in Newtown, Connecticut. At 9.35 a.m., a dark cloud began to hover over a small elementary school down a very long road called Sandy Hook. A rain of bullets came pouring down, smothering the voices of 20 children and six of their protectors. These children were small, five years old small and six years old small, fighting helplessly against a gun that was almost bigger than them. Some took three bullets to die. Some took 11. But eventually, they all went silent. We promised. We made promises. This was it. This was the breaking point. This was the point of no return. This was as bad as it could get. How could we let this happen to children, to five-year-old children, to six-year-old children, to their protectors? We all cried, we all screamed, we all fell to our knees in prayer, in silence, in devastation, and promised that this would never happen again. Whatever conversation this nation could not have for years, we were prepared to have. And when we began that conversation, too many people went silent. The president with the Newtown families by his side shook the silence as hard as he possibly could until his body and their bodies could shake no more. They had endured enough pain from this country and in return, so many people who are supposed to represent them in the halls of legislation promised them nothing but silence. The greedy, money-hungry lobbyists who wear the letters NRA on their sleeve sent envelopes and boxes of money to silence those who are supposed to represent the people, but instead represent the stock prices of too many gun manufacturers. And after a few months, when the bodies of the elementary school children went cold, so did our prayers for a bulletproof nation. 173 children under the age of 12 have been killed in this nation by the bullet of a gun since the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School. They too were silenced. You may write us down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may tread us in the very dirt but still, like the dust, will rise. Maya Angelou reminded us never to be silent. So let us sing the songs of those beautiful children lost that fateful Friday last year. Let us march to the beat of Charlotte, Daniel, Olivia, Josephine, Dylan, 
and Madeline. Let us chant the lyrics of Catherine and Chase and Jesse, Grace, James, and Emily. Let us pound the drums of Jack, Noah, Caroline, Jessica, Aviel, Benjamin, and Allison, and let us wail on the saxophone of Anna Marquez Green. For these are the reasons we wake up in the morning. These are the children that make America so beautiful. These are the children that will not accept silence in their death. Be kind. Be gentle. Be compassionate, be prayerful, but never, ever be silent.